All right, guys, so I have a ton of stuff here. I got a draw weight scale. I got a Garmin. I got arrow. Well, I have arrows. I have arrow weight. I have a lot of stuff here going on. We got a whole bow package that costs less than 150 bucks with 12 arrows and everything you need to hunt. Let's see how good this thing is. Stay tuned. The old Sanlita Archery, this is the new 2024 Dragon X7. This is the budget friendly option. Everything you'll see in here cost $149. Now they did send this because, well actually I, I contacted them. I had to test this out because we have everything to see if this bow would be perfect for a beginner archer or a youth or someone who learn want to learn how to tune bows and work on bows without messing up their hunting bow or just have a backup bow, whatever. I mean, 150 bucks for everything? That's nuts. But like I said, this is like I, I every time I say Sanlita, I just feel like you have to say Sanlita wine mixer. If you know, you know. But let's open this up. We'll get everything out. You get manuals. You get padded, padded bow case. You get bow. You get a dozen arrows. You get a rest, well, legs for your bow. You get a sight. You get a rest with all the hardware. You get a quiver. You get a stabilizer and a sling, arrow puller, and then Allen wrenches. There's a lot of stuff. First up, first up, before we even get to the bow, uh, this is pretty cool. If you have a kid or uh, just someone that you want to start out in archery, even your wife or anything like that, this would be a pretty cool little setup. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at these arrows. These are their own brand arrows. And it looks like inserts and field points are included, which I'll probably, I'll shoot these for a speed test with how they are, but I guarantee you they're probably 32 inches long. It is cool that you do have field points on here. Uh, you just have a normal insert, threaded insert as well. Um, it's the Sanlita. They're 30 inches long. It looks like the X8s. So it's not their best arrows that they have, but nonetheless, they're arrows and they have field points, which are very cheap looking, but dude, it's 150 bucks for a bow and everything. Like if you're just starting out, this is, this would be perfect. These are the veins. Uh, they're pretty heavy duty. It actually looks like they're glued on pretty good. Uh, it's just a three fletch straight. You just have a regular knock in there. And then you have the San Lita X10, 30 inches. So these are going to be longer than my normal arrows. Then you just have your normal insert, threaded insert with uh, the field point. So, oh, I don't know. <laughs> there were some soft spined arrows right there. That's a, this is a 250 spine. This is a 300 rip TKO. These are probably... 340, 400. Uh, it doesn't say what they are, which that concerns me. Good for a youth or someone like that. I, I am going to cut some of these arrows. I'm going uh, to build them up and see. We will shoot these arrows uh, and we'll check them out. But first thing we're going to do with the arrows before we get into anything else, we're going to weigh them. So we're going to see what the consistency is on these. In another video, when I actually get to building these, I will check the straightness and all that. But for right now, I ain't worried about that. So I probably fast forwarded through all that and put all the all the weights up there. But the heaviest arrow is 544.8 and the lightest arrow is 509.2. Um, but yeah, they're, they're all across the board. And if you cut these arrows and re resize them, you're going to have different, uh, different, you know, weights to them. So the difference 
in the weights is not in the field points. It's in the arrows themselves or the veins or something along those lines. So we check those. I'm going to put all those components back together. Uh, that's as in-depth as we're going to get on these arrows. I definitely am not shooting one of these out of my bow. I think it would blow it up. But I will say the threads on these field points and these inserts, silky smooth. You have your regular old arrow rest on there, mountain system. You have everything you need to mount it. The bubble wrap has got a hold of me. You have... This is pretty cool. You have a, a sight, five pin, and actually there is a light on this. So you can light up your fiber optic. I actually do like, uh, I do like the look of this. I mean, it's not nothing special, but you got a really good level on there to make sure you're not torquing your shot. You got a light, you got a five pin system, uh, easy adjustments on the side. That's pretty cool. You can move it over left and right to line it up. So that's pretty sweet. Next we have all the Allens you could need for this whole thing. And you have a leather sling with sand lead on there, which that's pretty cool. I probably won't ever use that, but it's pretty cool that it's included. You have a little nub sound dampener slash stabilizer. What's that? Oh, that's just for looks. I was looking, it looked like you could put weights on there, but just, you know, just a stabilizer. That's freaking cool. Um, you have, oh yeah, you got bow legs, and it's just simple system, spring on the back, locks on. You got yourself some stance, son. Looks good. And actually, this is pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. For 150 bucks, man. If they didn't send one, I'd probably get it just to see. Oh, we got ourselves a little clicker ticker right here. We got ourselves a little wrist release. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy as hell to sling that arrow. I'd probably just get it released, to be honest. You got a nice arrow puller. And then you have... That's actually pretty sweet. You have uh, a quiver. Okay, so you do have a quick disconnect quiver. It's a pretty intricate system. Uh, there's just two wheels on the back, almost operates like wheel bearings. And you just push the top, and then it just pops off. There's your quiver, five arrow quiver. Actually, doesn't look bad. It looks like you can adjust this to however you need to set it. Dude, I'm sorry, for the price, this is cool. So we got all this. Now let's look at the good stuff. We're saving the best for last though. San Lita Archery bag. Uh, just looks like a regular old pouch. Throw the old girl in. And uh, it's a place to put it. I, that's nowhere for the arrows or anything like that. That's kind of weird. This is the San Lita Dragon. This is it right here. This is the San Lita Dragon X7. Uh, it's set to 27 inch draw right now. There is a D loop tied. Actually, <laughs> that fits me perfect. And it's only at like, uh, you know, not, not very heavy for the draw right now. But dude, it's just set. So let's just see. Let's see what it's set at. She said at 30 pounds, so, uh, yeah, 30.4, uh, it is set to my draw length, like I said, um, cool part about this is you have, everything can be adjusted, and you have half inch increments that you can adjust your draw length, so you can see there it goes from 31 to 17 inch draw, and then half inch increments in between, which is really sweet. Uh, and you do not need a bow press to do this. You can change all this on the fly. So if you're getting it for someone that's just starting out and or growing, you could get this bow for them and they could shoot it for a long time. It's very cool. Also the peep on here is the old tube shoot, as I like to call them. 
Uh, that way, as you change the draw length, it keeps locating properly. And you have your, your D loop, which is tied actually pretty nice. And it looks like it's tied perfectly in line, but it's a really light bow. And it's a pretty sweet bow. You got Dragon X7, San Lita Archery, then that's where everything's gonna go. Uh, to adjust your draw weight, you have these right here. And then these cams, the way they are designed, as your draw length increases, your draw weight increases. So this has a zero to 70 pound draw weight, which is really crazy being that it's so much uh, adjustment for this. It's a really good bow. If you just want an extra bow to shoot, if you don't have a lot of money, this thing would do it. 100%. Yeah, and so we got for sizes, we got axle axles, 30 inches, brace height, 6.5, draw weight, 0 to 70 pounds, draw length, 17 to 31 inches, string, 57 inches, cable, 32.68. This is the Dragon X7. All put together, you got the quiver on there, and it's a quick connect, quick disconnect, and you can adjust where you have your quiver. I'm leaving it just the way it is. We have the rest on, it's not paper tuned or anything, sights on. What I was trying to show you was this light is right on the top here. That's no light. And that's turning the UV light on. There we go. You can see the difference. I mean, it is quite a bit. So turning it off, turning it on. So pretty cool that it's built right in. And uh, you can take these pins out if you want to, but I'm going to leave it right as the five pin and see what we can get for speeds. Right now, uh, their chart they have in the manual, uh, their cams are designed to give you draw weight per length. So it goes from zero to 70 pound draw, but your draw length will change that draw weight. So at 27 inch draw, what I have it's 64 pounds, which I was getting 62, which I cranked down these limb bolts as much as I could. Uh, right now it's at 31 inch draw, so I should get the 70 pound weight. God, that's a long draw. And it's, it's right there. I mean, I've done this seven times now. I've gotten 71 three or four times. I've gotten 69 multiple times. We'll do it again. Yeah, see, 70 there, so it's right on. Uh, and to adjust these, it's really cool. Okay, so this is all you have to do. I have no bow tuning experience. This is completely new to me, and it's easy as hell. You can see on there, it's really simple. The half draw increments are here. I got it to 31 right now. Just loosen this module of screw. Don't. Loosen it all the way because there's a, a nut on the back and you'll lose it. I just did that twice. But then you just loosen this, unscrew this one. It'll swing and rotate that module to what you need for your draw length from 17. And then you got your halves every all the way up to 31. And then do the same thing on the bottom cam. That's literally it. I switched the weight, which they provide the Allens. Okay, so set to 27 and a half. We should be getting 65 pounds. That's pretty close. 63.8. That's pretty close. It's not a it's not a bad draw. I mean, it, I don't like drawing like this, but it's smooth. Yeah, I could shoot that. 63, so I'm going to say you're more or less going to get closer to 63. I don't know, that was 65.2. It's not very consistent. And I'm just drawing this as smooth as I can. I'll tell you what, 64.9, so it's about 65 pounds. It's pretty much where it's supposed to be, 65.1. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you get all this in this package. So, it's ready to rock. I'm not, uh, I guess we could shoot all these arrows and then see how they do and just shoot them. And then we'll shoot two of my arrows and we'll go from there. So, now it's the fun part of this. We're just going to shoot. I'm going to put all these Allens. I completely forgot about my turkey scale that I keep in my turkey vest. 
So I believe this thing is called out to weigh five pounds. And now I'm going to assume that's bare bow, but we're gonna weigh it with everything. So we are looking at, wow, that's, it feels light and it is light. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 5.3 pounds. It's a pretty light bow. I mean, that's with everything on the quiver, the sight, the rest, everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have three of my builds. Uh, we have an arrow. We have the UV 1K uh, Ultra View. This is like $37 an arrow. We have my Black Ovis Gold Tip Force FOC build that I'm hunting with this year. Uh, we have my Victory Rip TKO arrow build. Uh, probably what I'll be hunting next year. And then we have all of the sorted Sanlitas Dragon X8s, it looks like, 30 inch. So these are not to my draw length, but we're just gonna shoot them. I just wanna put as many shots through this. We're gonna shoot it all through the chrono, and then we'll see how consistent it is. So the UV is 499. My hunting arrow is 544. And this arrow right here, it comes in at 461. Or no, 441, because it doesn't have the lighted knock. It'd be 461 with a lighted knock. So just for reference on the speeds, but I'm going to get this chrono set up. It's funny, the release I'm going to be using for this is uh, actually going to be more expensive than the uh, bow. Hopefully we don't, uh, we don't shoot the chrono, but I think it'll be set good where it's at. So let's just see. Now this is not paper tuned. I don't have anything to paper tune at this moment. I will be paper tuning this bow, making sure everything's right. Oh man, I can't shoot their, I'm gonna send it anyways, but their own arrows don't work with the rest they send. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see if this will work. Probably ain't gonna, but. We gotta do something here. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's just uh, their arrows, but man, do they, they crack. That's loud, but hold on, we'll see. Draw cycle's smooth. getting a little better I was 212 feet per second by the way with uh, their arrows which their arrows are not flying great but like I said this bow's not paper tuned I'm just shooting 212 again the draw on it's not bad, and I do think most of the noise is because uh, the arrow rest and these arrows that they send is not going to work. I was going to do a broadhead test today, but I'm not going to because we definitely have to paper tune this. We're definitely going to have to adjust that. But I mean, consistently, I'm getting 214, 212, 214. But these arrows that they send, uh, they also range from 509 to 544, so it's pretty heavy. Yeah, 213.9. So. I might I might just strip all these and then refletch them so we can just shoot them 213.8 so the speeds are pretty consistent but I'll show you what I'm I'm seeing aiming at the middle and letting her fly but watch the arrow flight here it's slow enough that you can see it pretty good Let's see it's zigzagging but the speeds are consistent 
but I think a lot of that has to do with the rest and the fletchings contacting majorly. Hey, that one was faster. 218.5. But then again, these are pretty heavy arrows. And they're 30 inches long, so but they're they're not flying terrible. Do 18.5. It's not not terrible at all. But I can hear just by how the bow's shooting that something's off. 219. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot. Uh, so the speed's there. The speeds with their arrows, which range from 509 to 544, was anywhere from 208 to 219. This one right here is the UV, uh, the UltraView UV slot or 1K. And it's got a really good knock fit. And see, those are fine. Those are should clear through there. Those other veins, I think they're hitting these rests hard. Now, like I said, I'm not paper tuned. Oh, that's it. I see, I see what we got to do here. That rest has got to go, it's got to go over to get that on center. So these speeds, we'll, we'll tinker with this and then we'll redo it. But I'm going to shoot this. That was quicker, 222. That was the UV 1K arrow. That is 499. Now my gold tip... This is a uh, 544 grain. This is with a lighted knock. So this will show you if it was day, well, if it was nighttime, it'd show you a little bit better, but I'm just gonna get this right here. And actually, for just kind of eyeballing this, I'm not too far off, it looks like. Oh, that just draws better. Two twenty-two. Now, this victory, this rip TKO. Uh, this is four forty-one as is, and I think this is going to be a lot quicker. But like I said, we have to adjust this this uh, rest for sure to get this arrow in line because it's not it's not straight and that's what that loud noise is so we can fix that i think it'll help with the speeds as well but we'll see how this one goes that was quicker 232.3 so not too shabby for an out of tune bow uh once again that's set at 27 and a half it was getting me 64 pound draw now the issue we're having is I gotta move this rest for sure. Just looking down, I can see that's and it's not good. But this is just for fun. We're just shooting right now. This is not a review. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a ton with this thing. But I think what I'm gonna do now, I don't have anything to paper tune, but I can kind of see how I need to go. So I'm going to do that now. But I'm gonna keep shooting this bow. I'm gonna wrap it up for the video though. It's pretty sweet to see a full package uh, for under 150 bucks. That's with 12 arrows, which in my opinion on those, uh, the weight range is crazy. But if you're just trying to get someone to start into archery, you have a kid or, or your wife or anyone just needs arrows to shoot, you can have a whole package ready to hunt uh, for 150 bucks, which guys, I'll put links down below if you want to go on Amazon and get it, or if you want to go right at their website. They have different options. They have an X10 that's like a hunting bow. Uh, they say that one's like 400 bucks bare bow. They have the X8, which I've heard great things about, and I'm going to get my hands on, which is 200 bucks as I think a package. Then they have a bunch of other different options. But this a Dragon X7, this is their 2024 ultimate budget bow. So this is designed for those on a budget. And guys, I've never tuned a bow. I've never done anything with draw length, weights, myself. Um, 
and this is really easy. Now paper tuning, I, I know I got to move the rest over, but that's it's all something I can learn, and this is the perfect bow to learn on, and I don't have to mess with my hunting bows, but I do plan on taking a whitetail with this next year, or if they send another one, maybe another one, but I got a lot more shooting to do. This Sanlita Dragon X7, actually the draw's not bad, the cycle's not bad, the ease of adjustment's beautiful. So you can do a bunch of stuff with this to get it all ready to rock. Also, I just saw here that the quiver actually comes with a hanger. So if you want to detach this from your bow in the tree stand and then hang it, you can, which that's really cool. The quick detach works pretty great. Locks in, it's pretty quiet. The only sound you're hearing right now is that rest being over. But you're going to start seeing this thing in, in uh, gel tests and stuff like that for broadhead tests. Because this is just a really cool bow. I'm going to learn a lot with this thing. But guys, if you shot any of these Sanlitos, drop in the comments below. Also, go check them out. I'll, like I said, I'll put the links down there. Go check them out. I'm going to get this rest set. I'm going to get it. I'm going to shoot the rest before I go down and pattern test for you guys. So... Now, I'm not getting a chance to duck hunt this morning or whitetail hunt this evening. Just too much content to film. It is a part of it. Uh, it's kind of crazy. You you start a YouTube channel to try to hunt more, and uh, you find out real quick that getting the content out there, it's a lot of work, and you're going to miss a lot of hunts. So just part of it. I like doing what we're doing, so I'm going to keep grinding and doing it. But time to get tuning on this rest. My first impression of this for 150 bucks for 12 arrows, a, a release, which I'm not using, I'm using my spot hog. The bow, a quiver, a stabilizer, a rest, a sight. I mean, how do you beat it? I mean, it's not screaming fast, but it doesn't need to be. It, it's not supposed to be. It's a great starter bow for youth or, I mean, the draw length variety, the half inch increments to draw weight variety. Man, you could make this for literally anyone. They could have this bow for a very long time just shooting. That's pretty freaking cool. So guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you thought. I mean, not terrible speeds, but I'm gonna redo the speed test once I get this paper tuned and get it you know, right. Then we'll do the speed test for real. So this is just, use this as a reference. I believe once I get that right uh, and get this bow tuned and timed, I will be a lot better speeds so i'm not gonna say anything about the speeds yet but not terrible for what i what it is i mean that's pretty impressive but you're gonna see what you gotta say as always smash the thumbs up button for your boys drop your comments below if you've shot san lita let us know if you've been curious about this let us know i want to start doing more budget bows like this on amazon and stuff like that just want to do more bow related content it's just more fun I want to learn how to tune bows. I want to learn how to do all this stuff. And I want to bring that content to you guys. I really enjoy doing it. So it's going to be fun going forward. we got a ton of new content that's going to be coming over the years. And on top of the good stuff that you already love. So it'll be fun. So make sure you subscribe. Hope to see you on the next video. Make sure, if you're curious about these, make sure you stay tuned for the review. Once I get this thing dialed in and uh, maybe build some arrows for it and then uh, get it hunting. We'll see what we can do with this bad boy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna build a couple of arrow sets for this. I'd like to take it hunting, so we'll, we'll get right to it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, share, comment, all the fun stuff. Everything will be listed in the description below from links to their website, uh, all the dragons off Amazon, their arrows, whatever. Uh, I'll put everything down there so you guys can go check it out and buy it if you want to and mess around with it or whatnot. But as always, no. But with that said, I got to adjust this, this rest and try to paper tune without paper and see. But I can kind of tell it's, it's going left and right. It's just got to go left. So I don't think I need paper for this. I think I can get it pretty dang close. Guys, hope you're having a great day. We'll catch you on the next one.